Hey bunnies, welcome back. It's me, Jenny. How is everyone doing today? Okay, my loves, I'm going to show you guys how I created, um, kind of like repurposed, right? I want to say repurposed because I didn't create this, but I kind of like added some goodies here and there to my picks, um, that we're going to use, um, to add to our Halloween tree at work. And so I added some googly eyes, I added some cute little trim, some pom-poms, and I thought it turned out super adorable. Um, I want to show you how I did this. I mean, this is really so simple, but I just want to give you an idea on how to kind of like repurpose what you already have, right? I also picked up these pumpkins and I kind of make them into a pick. I added the, the skewer so it can actually be added nicely into the tree and i just basically had glue some little critters and that's all i did i mean i did really nothing um this is a very very simple project but because i am working on it i wanted to just you know bring it to your attention maybe um it can bring someone you know some great ideas to um kind of repurpose your picks that you already purchased from the Dollar Tree. So, we're going to do the happy face or the pumpkin face first. So, I have here these pumpkins that I got at the Dollar Tree. All this stuff that I got here, all this stuff that we're going to work with is basically all at the Dollar Tree. So, these pumpkins are super adorable. You get five of these little pumpkin picks. And what I did was I simply just... Um, added some googly eyes to my pumpkin um so what i did was i basically just added some googly eyes to my pumpkin i added a little nose to the pumpkin i added a cute little bow some pom-poms and that's basically it guys literally that's all i did let me put you in closer so you can see better oops okay so Basically, what I did was I added some hot glue to the eyes to add the googly eyes, okay? So here we go. Okay. So now that we have a little googly eyes all beautiful, for the nose, what I did was, I mean, you can use another solution if you want. I mean, it didn't bother me to, to use an extra googly eyes because I have so many of them. So what I did was I used a googly eyes for the nose. But what I did was I turned it around and used the white part of it. And I placed it right inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. I placed it right inside the nose. Um, it kind of really worked perfect. It, it actually even fits perfectly in there i don't mind sparing an extra googly eyes again i have so many of them one or two googly eyes is not going to really make a huge difference but if you are short in googly eyes you can always <clears throat> i'm sorry excuse me you can always add like a button or something you know other than just the googly eyes i just love the googly eyes look um the white on it just looks really, really fun and cute. And basically, that's all I did for my pumpkin, okay? The other last thing that I did was I have this beautiful tool that I also got at the Dollar Tree. Um, gorgeous. They have uh, orange. They have silver, gold, and purple. I'm using the purple. I just cut a little tiny piece. And what I'm going to do is basically fold this piece in half. I'm going to make a nod right in the center of this strip, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue the this little strip onto my pumpkin, right on the side, just like that. So let's add some hot glue to the side of the pumpkin. And we're going to add this right in the side, just like so. Now, if you feel that your little strip is too long, then you can go back and cut it. So, for example, this one I might want to trim a little bit because it might be a little bit too big. Okay. And you can actually, this size is not that bad. See? And you're going to get something like this. Super 
super cute, adorable little pumpkin with a cute little kind of bow attached. And the only last thing that I did was I added some pom-poms right in the center. That's all I did. Boom. And that's basically what I did to my little Halloween pumpkin picks. I didn't really do nothing else to it. I think this is perfect. I think it's fine. I don't want to do too much. Again, I don't want to like really overpower the, the tree. I, I don't want to put too much stuff in it. You know, I am very known to over embellish everything. So I'm trying to keep it um, as simple as possible. Um, but I thought these turned out super adorable, guys. Look, look how cute these are. How freaking adorable are they? They're so cute. I only made four because, again, I don't think I need more than that. Um, and I just think that they're so cute. They turned out really, really adorable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what I did with the pumpkins that I also picked out from the Dollar Tree. Now, these were four in a pack. And these are basically just little pumpkins that are in a little pack. Um, these are not picks, but I turned them into picks. So what I did was I took my pumpkin, which is right here, and I used my uh, my wooden skewer. This is the ones that we use for barbecuing or you know any out back door projects that you're going to barbecue. Most of the time is used for that. Um, and what I did was I basically just put my little wooden um, stick into my pumpkin. And that's basically all I did. It kind of created a nice little pick. And it's simple. It's easy. You don't have to do really much to it. Just basically that. If you want to secure, you can always add a little bit of hot glue. But trust me, this is not going to go anywhere. So what I did was, the last thing that I did is to kind of give my little pumpkin a little bit of a little, you know, nice look. Like you see here, I just added these two little creatures right on the pumpkin. Which is super, super, super easy. I use these little spider rings that I also got at the Dollar Tree. I cut off the ring part to it. And I basically just have glue my little spider onto my pumpkin. That's it. That's all I did. So you're going to add your pumpkin. You're going to add your spider to your pumpkin. And then I'm going to add another little critter, which is this little fly on this side of the pumpkin. Coming down this way, okay? He's going to come down in this way. Kind of crawling, but crawling downwards. And that's basically it. That's all I did, guys. See that? That's literally all I did for these little picks. As you can see here, I only created three of them. But you can see here, I used the purple, I used the green, and I used a orange spider. And look how adorable these turned out. So simple. You can, and again, you can over embellish these if you want. I was thinking of actually putting googly eyes all around the pumpkin, but I think that um, I have a few picks that we can play around with. So I think we'll be okay with what we have. But you can do so, so, so many things with this. It's so much fun to kind of like repurpose stuff that you already have, and it's just gonna turn out super adorable. See that? I hope you enjoy this short, short, short video. I thought these were really cute to create, and I think that they're really simple. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on these, okay, honeys? I love you all. Have a fantastic weekend. I hope you enjoyed this very, very short video. Um, make sure that you uh, like, subscribe, thumbs up, and let me know what you think about these adorable little repurposed pics, okay? Have a fantastic weekend, and please be safe out there, honey bunnies. Love you all. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.